Oh, hi everyone. I've got some very special little plants here. We've got my parent plant, oak leaf fig, and we've got a tiny orchid and I've got a lovely jar. So I'm going to make a home for these. Now, let's show you the little plants first because they are very, very special. This little guy I've had for a while now and I don't really want to take him out of his pot because he seems so happy in there. These are smoothie pots. They make perfect miniature greenhouses. But as you can see in here, this one's got a bit mucky. But the pot sits nicely into here, leaving a void at the bottom. So I can keep this nice and moist. And as you can see, it's all steamed up. The atmosphere nice and damp for it, but without it sitting in water. And it seems extremely happy. So I'll be taking some little cuttings off that one. Now this little guy <coughs> is an orchid. And I've just popped his little pot in here for now because he arrived a few days ago and I do want to make sure that it's I kept it kind of moist. So here he is. But it is just sitting on the bottom. So I've only dampened it. And it is a, what does that say? something I can't pronounce and it's a bit covered in green. I don't know. Anyway, I'll put, put it on the screen for you. But we're going to make a little home for him. Now, I have noticed that he is in a clear pot and almost, almost totally just in sphagnum moss. So that tells me that this is the sort of orchid that likes to be able to get his roots to the light maybe, because some do. And it also tells me that he's quite happy in sphagnum moss because that is how they've sent him so uh, that's what this little terrarium is going to be i haven't done one that's predominantly sphagnum moss before so let's do it let's pop our little plant over to the side there and look at our jar now this jar came from was it aliexpress i think it might have been aliexpress i've got them in various sizes this is the bigger one and i thought it would be just right for this little guy and i've got a nice piece of if it'll go in yeah dragonstone don't know if i'll use that yet and i've got a lovely piece of wood because i do tend to like to put spider wood in but i think i'll have to do a bit of trimming if i'm going to try and get this in here yeah so i don't quite know yet but we've got some decorative pieces we can put in First of all, let's get the drainage layer in. Now, I should put a piece of mesh between this drainage layer and the soil, but I can't find my mesh, which isn't very helpful, is it? Well, anyway, I'm going to put some stone in. There we go. Nice layer of gravel. And in amongst that, I am going to put some little bit of carbon. Now, this is fish tank filter carbon. There we go. Fish tank filter carbon. It just helps to keep any water that sits in the bottom sweet. That's all. Nothing, uh, nothing major. And hopefully, with this drainage layer, that will just help to keep keep things a little bit fresh. And I, what I will be doing is we're mostly watering by misting rather than pouring water in once it's got going. So there we are with that. Then we're going to need some of my random collection of terrarium compost. I say random because this is just terrarium compost that I bought mixed with compost that's come out of other things. There's all sorts in this. But hopefully it's not too laden with nutrients to the point at which the plants will just find it a bit too much because that can happen. But yes, I should be put, really have put a mesh layer in here, but as you can see, I haven't. Now I'm going to bank it up at the back. The mesh, for anybody who hasn't done this, um, a mesh layer between the gravel and the soil would just stop the soil from washing down into the gravel and ending up as a, you know, just a stodgy, stodgy mess. But I'm probably going to end up with a bit of a stodgy mess. But I think with the watering plans that I've got, it should be fine. I have got quite a few that haven't got the drainage layer that you really should put in. So uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this one gets on. Next thing then is to sort out what I'm going to do with the decor. Now, will that go in if I break this bit off? <clears throat> I hope so, because if not, I've just ruined a perfectly good piece of wood. Uh, no, I think we're going to end up with our with our rock, aren't we? Now, which way up for the rock? This is dragonstone. It's got all little funky holes and gaps and things in it 
and I just thought this was a nice piece. It's quite large, so it will take over somewhat. I think we're going to push it down a little bit, push it towards the back. Really, it's just to set the orchid off nicely. That's actually touching the back of the little jar. So I'm hoping that my little bit of oak leaf fig that I'm going to put in will climb up it. Next thing to do is to get some moss going. Now, I did a bit of a funny. I bought some moss like this. Let me show you. It came in a block like this. Small. But by golly, it doesn't half expand when it gets wet. Um, so let me show you. <laughs> I'm going to put some in a jar of water and you'll see what I mean. OK, so yes, this is a wine glass. This is a wine glass. Let's push this out the way. Put our little plant safe. There we go. Get this in shot more for you. It's an Echo Falls wine glass. <laughs> I think our local shop gave me that. And the amount of water that this stuff will now hold, that will be more than enough, I think, to do that base layer. Now, I will put some decorative mosses in on top. But for now, what we'll do is back in its little tub. Oh, let that soak for a minute. You see it's expanding already and starting to separate. There we are. That'll expand even more once I, uh, once it's soaked and sprayed. I'm going to spray it and, uh, yeah. So let's start putting it in because that's already dampening down. It's already expanding. It's already softening up. So the first thing I want to do is get some behind that rock. What this will do is just hold the moisture. It will help to keep the atmosphere damp. And any little plant cuttings that I put on top of it will just root straight into it. Sphagnum moss is just brilliant for that. There, so we've got some behind the rock. And let's just start breaking it up, chucking it in. Obviously, I'm going to have a bit of glass cleaning to do in a second. But yeah, look, there's more than enough there. You wouldn't have thought it, would you? <laughs> water my little plants in the background with the rest and then I think that needs to go in the dishwasher. Now, yeah, I'm just going to push this down, flatten it down. I mean, it might, it's, it's meant to be fully dried and, you know, not alive, but I bet it will start shooting. Moss is amazing stuff. So we've got that pressed down nicely. Now we're going to put in that little, that little orchid next. And I'm going to put him at the front here, pride of place. So let's push the push the moss back. So we're just going to sit him into that gap. So first, I'm going to just tease his little roots out a little bit because I think I don't know how long he's been in this. So I don't know whether he needs it all. Let's see how far down his little roots go. Up. I think I'm starting to see roots. Oh, I don't want to disturb him too much. There we are. That's quite enough disturbance for a little flower, a little plant, isn't it? Now it is a miniature orchid. It should be quite happy in here. However, I have got bigger, taller jars just in case it does get out of hand. But what a smashing healthy little plant. I'll put you the link for where I got this from, by the way. There's an online purchase. There he is. Now we're going to take some cuttings off this now. And as you can see, there's some quite nice little shoots. And can you see that it's got aerial shoots? Now this is an oak leaf fig. Let me go and get some scissors so I can snip it neatly. Ficus quercifolia apparently is what this is called. And it's quite slow growing. It's quite sought after. A little cutting like that, you'll pay probably something like eight pounds for a couple of those on uh, eBay <laughs> and I've never seen it in a garden centre. It's just such a lovely little plant. It's perfect for terrariums and as you can see I'm taking off a couple of little bits that have got these roots coming so they should just take, I'd like to have like a, a proper carpet of it in here and effectively a second parent plant would be great because I have to be very careful not to take too much, obviously, of this little guy as it's my main one. I mean, this is really the most I'll dare take off it probably for another month now, at least. 
probably more. I don't usually take this much off in one go, in fact. There we are. So, Lorchid, yes, you are spoilt. You are in very good company here. So we'll have a little bit round the back there. Just pressing it gently onto the onto the sphagnum moss. But yeah, I'd like a carpet of it. It does climb as well. It'll crawl all up this little rock, hopefully. And spread. So for once, <laughs> this is unusual for me, but I'm only having really those two plants in this little jar and I will just let that settle. And no gravel, I think. Not, I mean, on the top, you know. Normally I like to have a, a carpet of but a little layer of gravel as well. So let's put our little fig back nice and safe. And there we are. That is literally it. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to get a water spray and then I'm going to clean the glass and we're done. Just giving this a bit of a mist. I'm not really soaking as such. There's a little bit of moisture in the soil already and of course that moss was pretty wet so hopefully that won't overdo it and I'm just going to get a bit of tissue clean the jar so that you can see you can do it without knocking the little orchid over and hopefully you'll get some nice little roots going down into that moss and it'll be very happy in there that's the idea now, um, I could put the cork on because I think there's going to be enough light is going to get around the sides of this. Um, but I have also got some Perspex, uh, like little proper caps for jars. So I'll just see which I think it needs. Obviously, we need to let plenty of light in. But I think we might, might because of the, the way the cork will only be here, but the you know, the light spread will be around it. We might get away with that. So that's it. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do, obviously, the usual, drop a few spring towels in. So let's put the cork back on so we can see what it looks like for now. And there we are. I'll go and put it in place and we'll do some photos. Thanks for joining me for this one. And I'll keep you posted on the little orchid and how these cuttings take. See you soon then, folks. Bye.